Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is a follow up on the last video I did uh, regarding the YouTube API. Uh, I have the video right here link on Facebook.com slash C Sharp Nerd. Um, this is a follow up on this code that I made right here. Actually, I copy and paste it from uh, the getting started from YouTube uh, API help files so right now what I'm gonna do is use this code in an MVC3 uh, uh, website so what I did first I'll show you what it does right now so you can see here I have a drop down and as you click on the drop down this video gets updated it shows you that whatever you're looking for so let's say I want the export SQL data to Excel then I get the video and it plays fine hello and welcome to another video and you can click on YouTube to go to YouTube website to watch it or from here so how it, I'm gonna show you how I did this drop down and how this gets updated really easy so the first thing I did was um, I created a model and I call mine my YouTube model that's what I did that's the first thing I did and then after that what I did uh, I added a reference to client extension in YouTube after that at the top I added this name spaces because you're gonna need all those and then the last thing I did was just copy and paste the last code that I did adding the the developer key and password and user for your own uh, account and from here all I did was after you grab the feed instead of looping what I did I used the uh, link uh, expressions so from here I, what I did was select the title and the media to build uh, select item list and that's all that the model does pull the data out make a select list item and return it so in the controller which is this one videos that's this view videos all I did was initialize the model, pull the video list, and I just saved it under this, under the view bag, my, me videos, my videos. So from here, I can use it on the view. So we're going out to the videos. And as you can see, all I did was added a uh, jQuery uh, JavaScript and the first thing I did was once the document is ready to finish loading what I did I just added this uh, JavaScript this guy is checking this function is checking when the drop down changes so when you click something else it knows uh, what was the so you can see here it knows the value and the value I'm, I'm getting the URL and the title is the text so very simple so from here I'm just pulling the value from the drop down which is which is the URL and here I'm updating uh, the source attribute of this iframe I'm using an iframe and by default it has already one random video so what I'm doing now when the drop down changes when this is detected then I change the SRC attribute I change the value right here updating this this whole thing that's how the this video gets updated so it's really simple to do if you have any questions about this video follow-up going into the MVC framework 
looking like this uh, leave me a note here on facebook.com c sharp or at uh, youtube uh, video code to uh, username thank you for watching